good evening to everybody. I'm very happy to take part in this uh, wonderful meeting of women, mothers, teachers, sisters, and workers in the path of love. What really brings me here to Kamlaji and to Kushidi is that I relate to them because they have found a way to incorporate this inner awakening, which is a kind of inner education. Because when we want to change something in the outside world, we need to change ourselves first. And we need to understand, not only understand, absorb in ourselves, as Kamla Didi has mentioned, the saint who said, Ramana Maharshi, that there is no other. So how can you talk for someone when you talk for other? When we don't see my own reflection into everyone who is present, how can you talk for them? So when they have incorporated, and you can feel it in their, I mean, I'm just telling personally, when we are together, I can feel that flow of love coming from them. And this tremendous understanding of what is radical, what is spiritual, what is social, what is this inner awakening and trying to incorporate because we are human beings. Unless we have these human qualities, we are never going to achieve the world that we dream for, and that is love, a world full of love. Today is the birthday of the God of love, Krishna. It is Krishna Janmashtami. He has given us the sword and love. He was a flute player in Vrindavan. And when he played flute, all the women, animal, trees and birds, they forgot what they were doing. And they were all drawn to him. For what? It's because of his love. And Krishna himself was drawn to all of them because of their unconditional love to him. And this is the essence of our path, the unconditional love. You are born with love. You are born with that quality. But sometimes our mind takes over and we forget that we have this quality in us and if we forget for that, bowels have given songs and contemplating on songs, one can cultivate love inside. Sometimes we have to cultivate love because as Kamala Didi was saying that nobody before, one who is a saint has a past and one who is a sinner has a future. So sometimes we need to cultivate love. If you look at the Balmiki, Balmiki, he, he was a killer, murderer. He killed so many people and looted all their wealth. But then he cultivated love for Rama and he gave us a wonderful teaching. So Krishna, I said, he played the flute and in Bhagavad Gita, he asked Sri Krishna to take the bow and arrow and kill his own family for justice. So you see, the love does not mean, as Kamala Didi also has said, that it's an, it's an uh, consent to all unjust that happens in our society. 
but when we have a, a stability in us and that can come only through love we can cultivate a kind of inner peace in us which make us see everything with much more clarity and at that moment when we speak about injustice or we talk about the truth it is more effective it is more powerful because it, it is coming from love and peace i will sing to you the love of a mother to the little krishna yashoda singing this song to little krishna and putting her to him to sleep helping him to sleep in in the in the night this song says that oh the dancer you play the flute come to my heart my beloved eat nani buttermilk and i will do your tresses call me mother call ma and you make all the tantrums i'm fine with it i will tie butter your favorite butter in a little pot to take it to the forest when you go to take care of the cows i have done so much worship and i have found you now you become the universal form the lovable krishna by placing your feet on the other feet because i want to hear the sound of bells in your feet yashoda was not the real mother of krishna she did not know that she was not the real mother of krishna because her child was replaced in the night but when she came to know after a certain time did she love stop loving krishna thinking that it's not my child <laughs> so <laughs> you see when there is a true love it has no other he loved she loved krishna same way this song was sang uh, by a beautiful wonderful practitioner her name is shahochori she had a boat in the mushilabad area she would go on a ganga on the ganga rowing her own boat and singing the songs so my guru ji sri shashank goshai had learned this song from her she was incredibly independent woman and she at that time for women to come and sing and talk about love so openly you know there was it was it was a miracle for that time so let me sing Natiye, Natiye, Venu Padaiye, Ai Re Ratan Omni, Ai Re. I read, I read, 
divided. Our mind became smaller. But when we were in a different setup before independence, the Islam came long time ago. We never was fighting before. The kings were fighting, but they were fighting for power. But what about the normal people? Through the village, even today, you can find the fakir and the baul, they keep harmony. The baul, they have guru who come from Islamic tradition. And there are gurus who are Hindu for a Muslim fakir. There are also disciples of a baul guru who has student from the Islamic tradition. And fakir who will have student 
from the Hindu tradition. So what they were finding in common, it is the sweetness, the love that they were practicing, really practicing, not only talking about it. So by being humble to all the practitioners who has brought us a wealth of love, I offer this song of Ranjo Fakir, who is from Bangladesh, and he is singing to his beloved and inviting him to come and reside in the heart. I Muhammad Kamle Wala Aire Amar Buke Ai. Come, come to my heart and reside in my heart. O Muhammad, the Kamle Wala. Your servant calls you. You see, this servant is the same in Baul and in Fakir. Your servant calls you. When we call Krishna, we say, your servant is calling you. When we call Muhammad, we are saying, your servant is calling you. Shanti Demur Kolijai, give peace in my heart. The, the sky, the earth, the moon, the sun, everybody sings your praise. How can I not sing your praise? How can I stop myself from singing your praise? They always want to offer their love in the form of flowers at your feet. The fakir, the darvish, the king and the beggar, high and low, everybody calls you. And they're plucking from your garden of love, these precious flowers. The whole world becomes intoxicated with love. You just see, I met a practitioner in Tiruvannamalai and she says, love is more powerful than any other weapon. You can win somebody with love, but you cannot win anyone with threat. You cannot threat someone. So I found this love Rajab says, and I am so happy and found my peace. And I look for the source of love within me. I am Muhammad Kamalewala. I am Chai 
That country is immortal. Na dharati, na koi kon akasava. There is no earth and there is no sky. There is no moon. There is no sun. There is no sunlight or moonlight. There is no Brahman. There is no Shudra. There is no sake or mola. There is no yogi. There is no gathering of sadhus or gathering of molavis. Kavi says, I have brought a message from that country that sing and dance, sing and dance in love and let's go back to the country where I have come from. So it is a it is a it is a Doha which was loved by Tagore, and he mentions this this uh, Doha many times in his writings also. So you can say you were singing Baul. Why did you go to Kopi? <laughs> How can you not go? <laughs> it is not about language. It is the essence that we are talking about. 
it is essence. This is what is the inner flow or the underground flow of every spiritual path. Let me get my ikdara. <laughs> okay. This ektara is a special ektara and it comes from Dhaka made by Rahul Ananda.
I would like to open one space with you. Being a practitioner for so many years in this path, I almost grow up, you know, from teenage. <laughs> I have been walking this path. Often we see that when we talk about Mahajan and we see they have not kept any difference. They have accepted everyone in the path with their love. Because from love, what we grow is acceptance. We often think that it is a radical movement, which is, you know, was talking very uh, forcefully about the discrimination and all of that. It was not a well thought process, protest that they made. It was not a social justice they were doing in that way. But it, it, it becomes evident because when you go deep inside you, you naturally build a quality that when you see this kind of discrimination, you say this is nowhere we can go with it. This way we will not be able to reach the deep truth that is inside us as human beings and when we have to share with other neighbors in the same place. So they talked about the moment they saw that these qualities of spirituality, when it became a power game by making hierarchies and uh, discriminating people, they came out and spoke about it because they knew that this way the, all the human beings will be kept away from their truth. They will be never able to see what they carry inside as love. That is why they spoke. They did not make a big procession or they did not make a big, uh, you know, uh, organized um, uh, protest in a way. But they sang every day. They reminded everyone who came to them individually that don't look at those things. It will keep you away from the truth that you carry inside you, the love that you carry inside you. Because the moment you put a blindfold on your eyes, that is called, you know, the organized religion, this, that's, that moment itself, you will lose who you are. You become part of an, an ignorant way of finding yourself. <laughs> you never find yourself. So then, <laughs> then uh, often, often people wonder that, um, you know, then how is it possible? Because people don't have the education of what is true spirituality. Because the path that the yogis or the fakir take, that one has to really practice. It is not easy. One cannot get just like that. One has to go through a rigorous process of transforming and transforming and transforming oneself. Accepting, accepting, accepting oneself. Because we always look of the perfect and we want to be something else that we are not. But that, that's, that's not us, you know. So what they emphasized on is look look your reflection in the mirror of your heart which is covered with the dust of ignorance wipe it completely and this wiping and cleaning the mirror inside of our heart is the process Chaitanya speaks it clear clearly in the shikshashtakam the eight eight shlokas he gave instructions to his disciples he said clean the mirror of your heart by chanting the name. Chaitanya said this. And what did Lalan Fakir say? Lalan Fakir said, <laughs> they said the same thing. <laughs> in different language, in the Chaitanya said in Sanskrit and Lalan Fakir said in Bengali, 
had one song which struck struck me very much, and I loved it. Uh, Lalan Fakir says, "Just imagine, the Arabic language is said to be the divine language, the language of the heaven. If Muhammad was born in Bengal, will the Bengali become the heavenly language?" <laughs> It's Lalan Fakir writes, and I find it fantastic. <laughs> you see, they're not afraid. They have no fear to express because their love is direct, direct to their ishta, their beloved, their, their guru, their uh, disciple, everything. And when I talk about acceptance, when you think with the radical way of thinking of, I'm using the word radical a lot, but <laughs> is that we suddenly think, I am almost finishing my time. I have only one minute. So <laughs> it's, uh, we think that acceptance is like giving consent to everything. No, acceptance is not that. Acceptance is to accept what it is, how this person is, how the things are, and then look by receiving that, look with clarity. Our acceptance means to take what you are as truth, what you are. You don't try to project who you are. You, know? you don't project anything. So they said, whether I wear a beige of fakir, the dress of a fakir, or I wear chola and mala, but inside me is unstained. It has no color. One more practice to cultivate love is to be able to receive. Because our ego is so strong, we want to give. We do for others. We do protest for others. We are doing for others. What about receiving? Receive when you get love. Receive when somebody tells a good word to you, you say, no, 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 I'm not that. I'm not that. Why can't you receive it? <laughs> so it is 5.30 and we are almost at the end. Uh, I wanted to sing one song, but I will wait maybe after the question and answer. No. Kabu. Somebody, somebody sing a song. Somebody, somebody asked if you would sing Mone Mone. Mone Mone one of our Mone Mone is also a song of love, but I want to sing you another song of love. Be with me. <laughs> I want to sing a song that's my very favorite one. And I find it is a masterpiece. Apna apni fana hole, sheb hed jana jabe. If you become fana, what is fana? This woman is talking about fana. What is fana? Fana is a state of samadhi where one finds oneness when there is no other. Hmm? There is no other. It is you who is talking. It is you who is listening. It is you who is smelling. And it is you who is excelling. Everything is me. If you become that fana, you will know the truth. Which name do you want to call him? In which, with what name, if you call, he will come and appear in the sky of your heart. In Arab, Arabic language, they call Allah. In Farsi, they call Khuda. The disciples of Jesus, I mean the British ones, they called him God. So he's called in different language and different name. Call in whatever name, but let him come and preside in your heart. To express our mind, the language was found. But one who is beyond mind, with which language you can realize him? So you can say that the language reflects our physical mind. That is why the Baal Sadak say, 
the ultimate cannot be said. So it is not, it cannot be written. It is not in a sacred text. It is in the heart, in the feeling, in the love. So whether you do Allah's bhajana or Hari's pujana, this is all created by human, by the human mind. The one who has no name, one who is unknown, can this indriya, the sens sensory organs, they can feel him? No. If you become fana, you will see the side of bana. Shirash Shai says, Shirash Shai is the guru of Lalan Fakir and said, Lalan, you are blind. Take away your blindfold. See that whole universe exists inside you. You are that. Like they say, Analhak. And, uh, and the Baul said, Aham Brahmasmi, I am that. Oh, 
so many songs so many words so many different ways the bows have said again and again and again love 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 this is the only way to the truth so yeah yeah so i i want to ask a last a question to parvati okay parvati yeah you ready yes you know you were a teenager i don't think you were even 18 when you went on this path what was it i mean were you looking only for freedom you've told me the story how you ran away every day following a woman baul singer and you went with her on buses begging for money leaving your shanti niketan and all that were you looking just for freedom was it the singing was it the music was it the love and my god a bengali woman low middle class middle class family taking off crazy what was it i mean do you know it now maybe at that time you did not know do you know it now were you looking for freedom as a woman that that would set you free otherwise you would have been now mother of four or five with a husband beating you every day and look at you now sitting here like a grand lady of music what was it well so this uh, yeah at the beginning i didn't really have any idea of uh all this that i can articulate now uh what i was uh, i was trained in music and dance since my childhood but when i heard the bows i saw there is a special uh, opening of the voice and this voice was like it was touching the sky so <laughs> i i never heard a voice like that it felt it came directly from the body and when i uh, met them as person in normal daily life they were carrying the same essence of the love and and compassion that that's what i missed in most of the artistic circle so i said how they became this this human being in them that they had received me with so much love and uh, everybody else who came to them and i wanted that to cultivate in me that uh, essence i wanted to cultivate in me i wanted my art to become my upasana and and to take me make me transformed and make me one with the beloved and uh, 
so actually if you seek love outside you will never find it nobody can satisfy the love has to come from inside and uh, well uh, even though i was very young like 16 but i have seen many aspects of life and uh, for me uh, even for me to understand when i started growing up i was said as a woman and i didn't really feel i felt like a human being <laughs> i felt like uh, same as everybody so why i was you know tr treated in that way i didn't never understood but when i looked at the bowl i found that essence of oneness in them and uh, so i started taking that it actually cooled my sufferings you know unhappiness not feeling love not feeling this and that that comes from our suffering and when the suffering stops then we will be happy always and there will be no reason that whether i'm happy or you know your happiness is your happiness nobody has owned it you own your happiness so even in the most challenging moments of our life we can feel love and we can feel loved and we can have our happiness don't give the key of your love and happiness in anyone's hand no i i, I have seen a comment i just would like to take it i know i'm shooting my time but i just uh, found a comment from someone uh, that uh, difficult to comprehend my explanation because it's semi vaishnavi explanation so okay. <laughs> so maybe uh, i just um, one sentence Okay. Is that, uh, you know, again we are putting on the blindfold. You know, again we are not seeing the essence what we are talking about. No, I mean, I, 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 Parvati, I am amazed at uh, your answer. I mean, you said that you did not find that acceptance and love from the artist community. And we thought artists were those people who had love, but look at the competition among artists. Look at that desire for name and fame and this and that. Similarly, some young feminists could say, I did not get that acceptance from older feminists. I got it from a fakir on the road. I mean, that is a comment on us and that is what I was trying to say in the first 40 minutes, that we need to look that all these big words about human rights defenders, feminist activists, does anyone feel your love? Will anyone follow you for your love or maybe for the job you might give them or maybe for a recommendation for a fellowship you might give them? But how many people will follow you for your love? And that is the challenge I am posing today. 